I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. Quokum II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. Quokum II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. Quokum II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer.
We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph Ekwaku II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph Ekwaku II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph Ekwaku II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus, 3 to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality. ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph Ekwaku II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church 
in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme turning virtue into reality based on the Word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I'm Joseph E. II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme turning virtue into reality based on the Word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I'm Joseph E. II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme turning virtue into reality based on the Word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I'm Joseph E. Quarkin II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme turning virtue into reality based on the Word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I'm Joseph E. Quarkin II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme turning virtue into reality based on the Word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon. As you join us, I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I'm Joseph E. II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme turning virtue into reality based on the Word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. 
We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. Quarkin II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus and Joseph E. Quarkin II, the senior pastor of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. and also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality based on the word of God, the worship of a believer, and the warfare of a believer. We also have a thriving praise and worship ministry where songs of praises are lifted up to God and a thriving children's ministry where your child will be trained up in the way God desires. I want to see you soon as you join us. I know your life will never be the same. God richly bless you. Amen.
in the head. Gone for a bank loan and they didn't want to pay, so they killed that individual. Like I'm saying, it is something that is known. Whether true or false, it is known. Amen. Now, the interesting thing about these people is that in their days, they were hailed. I know some of them, they are kids. I went to school with some of them, they are kids. And the end result, hallelujah. The Bible said, mark the upright. His generations shall be mighty upon the earth. Amen. We are not only seven God because of two or three difficulties. We, what, what we call two or three difficulties we are encountering. Amen. We are seven God for ourselves. And also if Jesus tarries, the generations that are to come bearing our names. By now you understand that the greatest gift you can ever leave your kids is not the houses, not the cars, but the name that you bear. Hello? The Bible said a good name is better than riches. It means that you can acquire today and lose it tomorrow. Young people, your, your parents are not dragging you to church because they are boring. They are securing your future now. The greatest gift your mom or your dad can give you is the Bible they have given you. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Now because somebody buys for you, somebody uh, clothes you, somebody keeps you warm, you don't understand the vicissitudes of life until you are let alone into the wilderness called life. Hallelujah. I also understand in Proverbs 22, train up a child the way they should go. And when they grow, they will not depart. The Bible is quite succinct. Train up a child in the way. I have seen you and your siblings crying for your mother. I need a corporate fasting with you and uh, the Nesenam and uh, Connie. I have seen you cry for your mother. It wasn't because she was dead, but I have seen you talk about the fact that she has stroke and the doctors are saying there's no hope. I'm prophesying to you and you're sitting down. Hallelujah. You're crying. You're crying for your mother. And, and it's not because she's... At the time you were crying, it wasn't because she was dead. But you're crying because the doctors are saying there's an impromptu stroke and there's no hope. But I will show you what to do. No one there. Immediately they were singing. The Holy Spirit said, bring her forth and touch her. Because God knows what is coming. But in the name of Jesus, when we go through that spiritual process, whatever the enemy has determined concerning your mom, it will not happen in the name of Jesus. Ellen, I see a second funeral. And the way... Hey, Papa says, sorry. They, they, Papa, where do you have a back up and the way the flyer concerning that funeral is so attached to you, we have to pray. I don't know if you know anybody, Ameyao. That is the name I hear. Ameyao, Ameyao, Ameyao. But the flyer is so close to you that in the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has planned, we, would, oh, we come against that in the name of Jesus. Deacon, be very careful in your information processes because I have seen one of these people you are in charge of creating a massive problem for you. Do not slumber on the job. In actual sense, be I read now concerning the few months ahead because the enemy has planned an issue for you. It's ahead. But in the name of Jesus, as God has revealed, we are overcomers. Amen. 
And so the mighty, the generation of the mighty, is the generation of the upright is always mighty on the earth. Now God told Abraham, I know Abraham, he will order his children after me. Any great entity you want to name it, you go in there and you find a child of Abraham in there. Amen. Any mighty institution in this world. It was, I believe, if you love history like I do, I believe it was one of the main reasons why Hitler decided to target the Jewish people. Because at that time in Germany, any, any significant entity was owned by the Jews. Hallelujah. So as, as we are Christians, be careful you don't raise your kids and miss the Bible. It is everything. It does not matter the kind of excuse that you can give. Uh, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm bu How many watched a few, a few read something yesterday? Like I told you, me, I don't have time for sports and all that. But you'd be amazed that on Friday, many of you did not show up for prayer. But prayer was on your phone. Amen. And it is close to you. So it comes down to attitude. Your attitude towards the things of God. I don't want you to have a mindset that I know God and that's it. No. Hello. I don't want you to have uh, a mindset that, oh, I'm a Christian and that is it. No. That's got, the impact has to be seen in your family life. The impact has to be seen in your children's life. That impact has to be felt. Especially in these times when keep your faith to yourself. Well, you don't even know that we are in the era of keep your faith to yourself. Sometimes I, you know the person has an issue that cannot be solved just by talking. But then you dare not even broach the subject of God. Because we live in a society where faith is, is now hated at. You, you probably don't. Faith is now looked down at. Because for many people, God is an abstract subject. Amen. I don't want you to be the type that only comes to church because you have an issue and you believe that the prophetic word will come and you believe that the preacher will lay hands and, and pastor my ink, in, go let there be ink. You know that sort of request where pastor add more ink. Amen. I don't want your children uh, to be uh, strutting to church and grow up and in a few years you can't find them. Where is the God? Because we don't only serve a God of Abraham. We serve the God of Jacob. We serve the God of Isaac. And we serve the God who manifested in the flesh in the form of Christ. And John 1 says that, and the word became flesh. And the word had his dwellings. One of the greatest revelations I got about Jesus is that Jesus can actually appear physically. Because he had his dwellings amongst men. And Jesus can save anybody, no matter where they find themselves. You, you remember the story of my friend who the first time I encountered has smoked weed. When we're in Tottenham, a girl had smoked so much weed. When I held her hands, I could smell sensei, you know. Hallelujah. I felt sensei power. You don't know sensei, eh? You did not grow up in. They call it Sensi Miller, you know. Me tears for Sensi. I could smell. And I was like, God, what have I gotten myself into? And she, after a few weeks, she said, Pastor Joe, do you know what? I said, what? He said, you remember the first time we came? I said, oh, I remember it vividly. You were smelling of weed. She said, that was the time I caught the greatest revelation give my life to Jesus. Why? Jesus manifested in the flesh and had his dwellings amongst men. Am I speaking to somebody? 
Jesus knows what you're going through because he had his dwellings amongst men. Jesus knows the challenge you're facing because he had his dwellings amongst men. People, listen, we serve a God who manifested so he can go through the challenges we are also going through in order to give us the keys. The, the difficulty for many of you is that the assumption is, I'm just going to wait when I'm in trouble, then I go to church for the key. No, Revelation it's a daily release from God. I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. Every situation a believer goes through, there's a key. But you see, you have to pursue lulums before you can smell it. Am I speaking to somebody? Between you and the person that is always praying, one will be quicker with catching solutions. Hello? Like I keep saying, there's no difficulty before the child of God. There's no difficulty. There's no difficulty. There cannot be any difficulty for the believer. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons and daughters of God. Peter, after many years of fishing with that experience, tonight have you caught any fish? I've been toiling. May you cease from your toiling when you catch revelation. May you cease from struggling when you catch revelation. I don't struggle. I just wait on God. If he hasn't come through, it doesn't mean he won't come through. Am I speaking to somebody? Wait on God. Learn how to pray with your children. Prayer is not only for grown-ups. How is it that Jesus was 12 years? 12 years, yet exhibited wisdom that the Pharisees, 70, 80, who had been studying the Torah, had their eyes, the eyes of the understanding, be enlightened 12 years. And people, listen, when you start now, if you start now, we send them to school for teachers to educate them. When it comes to the things of God, I think for us believers, we are the only people that approach things of the spirit with a laissez-faire attitude. But we are the only people too that have the power. We have the power to change things. We have the power to turn our lives around. Yet we are the only people. Here is power. Approach and receive. But we are the only people that have a laissez-faire. You know the challenges, that idea of grace. Grace, grace, you've been gracing and gracing and 10 years of things are not working. The problem is not with grace. The problem is with your attitude, the way you approach the things of God. That has been the challenge. May God release grace onto your lives in the name of Jesus. May you have the power, power. May you have the desire as the dear thirst for the water proofs. When we started our Christian work, there was something called quiet time. Quiet time means if I, I, what time do you wake up when you sleep? Your husband is sitting right there. The guy said, <laughs> we've given up, we've given up. What Ajio said is, hmm. as a way of saying, pastor, stop bothering my wife. Hallelujah. Quiet time simply means that if I used to wake up at six, I wake up at five to go through the Bible. Why? Jesus said, give us this day our daily Utiya. You thought it was Jamaican bread. The revelation. You know, every Monday, I will post our communion on the church's platform. It isn't because I've got nothing doing. It is because I believe in the power of the communion. You're starting a brand new week. You can't start based on the same understanding and knowledge you have. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. So we are dealing with the family. April is a month of the family. And we said God had to win humanity by the shedding of the blood. And what do we do as a family? A people, a peculiar people, a holy people, a people without blemish. That is how God sees us. A holy people, a peculiar, a unique people group of people we have no blemish that is how God sees us as a family of this kingdom what do we do amen 
it will be a disgrace that one day you are gone and none of your kids will serve God. Passion, 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 passion. As an individual or as a corporate body, passion for the things of God. Passion. Everything I have become is through the, the, the service of this kingdom. Everything I have become. Maybe I have too much passion. Because when I see the way uh, people approach uh, the house of God, you ask, it's like, we live in a society where, like I said, vicar for hire. When I have a problem, uh, let me go and see if they will charge me and do things. Ceremony. But we are better than that. The question is, where is the lot? These shares are empty, not because we don't have the people. They are, but where are they? Passion, passion, passion. Psalm 133. You see, you see, for me, for me, for me, aside faith, aside faith, I don't know what the next life holds. Amen. If you believe, uh, the days, you know, when we started, it was like, we want to grow churches. We, but then, as we mature in Christ, we realize something. It is not necessarily about the numbers. It is good when you have the numbers because you can do a lot. But then, it comes down to something that no human institution has what it takes to bless or to give you. Am I speaking to somebody? There's a desire in you. Nobody. You know, Bojo is in trouble. He, they might kick him out very soon. My dear friend Boris. Partygate. So if, if you ever thought Boris was in. Boris is. He's been going to India. One person said, even if he goes to Mass, he will come back and meet us here. Hallelujah. Then you realize that the essence and the fullness of who you are is connected to the revelation you will catch from the word. Coming to church every Sunday is not a waste of your time. It is the world's greatest investment. We are not serving God because we want to have money. You don't need God to make money. Amen. You don't, listen, you don't need nine to five to make money. You can sell cocaine and make money. It's called electric money blood. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? You can become an assassin. <laughs> they hire you, you kill people, they pay you. <laughs> just one shot, just one shot. And have you wired the 200,000? Money in your account. You're good to go. <laughs> Am I helping somebody? Especially living in this Western society. There's so much you can do. You don't need to do nine to five. You still make your millions. But then we are not in this kingdom because of money. Get money off your mind. God, you don't need to serve God in order to make money. People, listen. You don't need to serve God in order to make money. Amen. There's something beyond money that you should be pursuing. There's something beyond the, the, the things we amass. The houses, the cars. And then you realize that you're still not satisfied. Amen. The latest car, you will drive it, but you're still not satisfied. The latest shoe, you will wear it, but you're still not satisfied. So it means there's something beyond what we are looking for. 
people, listen, I need you to see your, your family strategically positioned in this kingdom. I need you to see your family, your sons, your daughters strategically uh, positioned in this kingdom. Because after many years that I've lived, everyone that gave something to God, God gave something back to them. And they never lost out. They never lost out. Amen. Prayer, you are there. Fasting, you are there. Short notice, you are there. Those who are mocking you, let them mock you because it is not about the mockery. It is about what you've seen ahead. Abram said, the Bible said in the book of uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 11, they were looking for a city whose builder was not man. May you look up to that city. I said, may you look up to that city. I said, may you look up to that city. Abraham received the promise. Didn't see the manifestation because they were not looking onto a city whose builder was man. Hallelujah. Psalm 133 talks about, behold, how good and it is for brethren to dwell together. We are talking about the oil of the family. Say the oil that flows through the family. You see, from Genesis up until the time you and I read in the Bible, one thing is clear. God is a God of order. Say order. I don't hear you. Say order. Order. Listen, no family can progress beyond this order. Am I in there with you? People, listen. No family Come Greetings in the Beyond name of Jesus and Joseph Ekwakum mm. II, the senior pastor the of the Redemption House Family Church in Walthamstow, East London. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to worship with us every Sunday from 2.30 p.m. Void. Young people, listen. Your parents are not disturbing you. P.m. 3 to 4.30 p.m. And also on Friday from 8 o'clock p.m. To, through to 9.30 p.m. Our church is built on the theme, turning virtue into reality. Uh, they, they, they call them, they have a street name. The feds. <laughs> he works with the social, and he will tell you people like. of every family the progress in every family the promotion upliftment in every family begins with order and order begins with the man it begins with the man 
Am I speaking to somebody? Say order begins in the family and it begins with, with a man. People listen, listen. If you're a man, a Christian man, you're lazy. Listen, listen, listen. You're lazy in prayer. You've already sold your family. You've already sold your family. You've already destroyed that. If you're lazy in prayer, there's no way you'll be upbeat with the study of the word. Hello? Say order. The oil of order in the family. It says, behold, how good it is for bread. It is like the oil. The priesthood began with Aaron. Aaron is the father of all priesthood. If I'm a pastor now, it was because the father of what I'm doing is Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. There's Aaron. <laughs> order. Say order. Say order. It begins. If you're man here listening to me. I watch the men in our church, and sometimes my heart goes out to certain of them. It's like placebo. They come, they go. They come, sing after me. They come, they go. And I'm like, I, I, I question a lot. I ask, because you see, for me, to find myself and my identity came through prayer. It came through prayer. You cannot unconvince me about what God has called me for, how he says he's going to bless me, the amount of money he will bless me with, where he will bless me. I can't be unconvinced if there's a word like that. Because you see, in the closet of prayer, you will find yourself and in there, the fullness of all that God wants to do with your life. Am I preaching to somebody? Order, order. Order, the oil of order begins. If every family wants to be successful, it should understand that order is needed. But order, the Christian, I'm talking to the Christian man here. Am I speaking to somebody? I'm talking to, I, I, I listen to people a lot. And, oh, pastor, you know, when I hear men talk about their plans, and, oh, I want to do, this, and I'm looking at them and thinking, the word I want to, I use for them, I won't tell you here. Ha. <laughs> I, do, I have heard men talk great about their plans. And I've also seen not even an iota of that plan was manifested. And I've seen an individual, an ordinary person who was cooked up, was used to prayer. And I've seen their plans manifest. And I'm wondering what is the difference between the one that used to say big things. In our country, if you are huge and tall, they call it Owe Nimunyam. And Nimunyam is not in size nor in height. Hello? They said, oh, that person has a lot of what he has. Glo glory is not in size and in height. I have seen tall and huge men who are very, very foolish. Amen? Very, very foolish. Will mortgage the, the entirety of their death, the family's destiny for their own passion, uncontrolled passion. And it'll destroy them. Parents, if your man here, listen, you cannot escape what you do. Your child will repeat it. People, listen. Many years ago, I heard an individual give an advice to the husband. Apparently, the person works, but will sleep in the morning and the kids will come, wake up and come and see him sleeping. And the wife looked at him and said, it is wrong for your children to wake up in the morning to see you in bed. I didn't understand it. Then I grew up to understand the pictures you are painting. Listen, your kids are not dumb. They speak. They understand your language. They understand your language. My wife speaks uh, Ga. She speaks Ada. And she speaks English. And she speaks Chi. Amen. Anytime she's speaking to her mom, my daughter knows Mommy is talking to grandma without making mention of the mother's name. You are painting that picture. Your kids will print it out for you someday. Order. Order. The oil of influence that will change the, 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 the face of a family is caught up in the order exhibited firstly by the man. If you're a Christian man, 
Why should prayer become a challenge? Nobody learned to pray by being prayerful. We all started somewhere. Five minutes, ten minutes. It built up. As your pastor, sometimes I find it really, really difficult to pray. But then gradually, am I speaking to somebody? The enemy is not coming for your child. It's not coming for the family. Without him knowing there's an access door. When he sees you're weak, he comes for the family. He comes through you because you're meant to be the first point of call. When God came into the garden, did he go to Eve? Am I speaking to somebody? God did not go to Eve. Like I said, if you're a single mother here too, understand you've been given the grace to do the double. Hello? Hello? You've been given the grace to do that which a man does and that which a woman does. You're not excused when the enemy comes. He didn't go to the woman. When God came, sorry, he didn't go to Eve. Because God, the assignment and the essence of God, it was between Adam and God. Amen. Eve is a blessing. Eve is a blessing. If you're money here, you're married, understand one thing. The priority of God has always been your, you, you. Your wife is a blessing to your life. Anytime you refuse to hear God, he will speak to your wife. Say order. Many of us, I'm going to be honest, many of the character traits and attitude displayed by our children isn't any which. Look, at least I'll be 45 this year. I've spent 26 years of my life in this church. Hello? You know, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Yamini Ewoho came and passed. Their redemption came. I've been, I spent 26 and I've seen. Amen? One day, I have pictures of Mirabel when she was about three or four and with Chantel. I've got pictures of the twins and Laurier. I've got, I've got pictures, man. I've got pictures, you know. I've got pictures. And I'm seeing them grow up. I have seen families come. And I'm seeing the families grow up. It is not the devil. I see traits. I see character traits. And I see it manifest in these children. And often we are too busy to focus. You have holidays. Is that not the time for you to pursue God for your family? Holiday, you will book over time. It is your holiday. You will book. Because your mindset is, if I don't work. Who said it was work that has kept you up until now? Well, let me remind you. When you came into England, you had no document except you were born here. Or except they handed the passport back over the pond to you. And you, got, you took the passport that was handed and you brought it over. But God found you a job. Hello. You, your name is uh, whatever. But you see, they used to call you Julie. I was speaking to somebody. Was it not God? I'm intentionally taking my time to remind you of these little nuggets so that we don't become ungrateful and that we don't give an excuse when it comes to pursuing God for our families. The greatest gift that you can ever present to God is a wholesome family. Behold, how good and pleasant. It means that this kind of description, good because in the outward we can see, pleasant because we can taste what the family has become. For brethren to dwell together. Look at this. A man comes to church with the wife and the children. If you are going to marry. They keep telling you. You are going to marry. The person is a club person. Men or women. You found them in the club. They have no essence of God. You're wasting your day. You will struggle. It is a fact. I'm not telling you anything which isn't. Am I speaking to somebody? Look, you are better off with an individual that is in the house of God and has got some character challenges. And they show up every day. And the pastor will insult them. They are there. The pastor will lambast them. They are there. They are being delivered. You don't know. You haven't come across such people. 
Pastor Ebeja, Ebeja, I will stop, will stop. But you pray for me. Amen. They will come and say, Pastor, lay hands on me. My, uh, this woman was given a testimony of a son who's so addicted to reefers. Do you know reefers? The posh name for weed. Hallelujah. <laughs> and the boy will smoke so much weed and will come when the mom is kneeling. Mom, I'm here. Please pray for me. Initially, the woman was so heartbroken. He said, any, any time he's praying, the son will come and he can see his smoke so much. He come and kneel. She didn't know the prayer was actually working. It is working. It is working. Grace is working for me. Grace is working for me. Oh, grace is working for me, not by might, not by power, but your spirit is moving. Grace is working for me. You think, listen, I think, I, per, God, per my understanding over the years, if God has blessed you with children, and they fail. Your judgment will not be like the single individual's judgment. Hello? I started this teaching by telling you to see God's manifold glory, it is through the family. The reason why any known great person has a name is because they have a father with that name. Hello? Is somebody listening to where I'm coming from? They have a father with that name. Their father may not have been around, but they have the father's name. It is trained. Amen. And imagine in terms of the oil of order, you fail that child, your judgment. I don't think it has to be like mine. Because that individual, if you are taking care of them, might have become greater. They would have influenced other people. Am I speaking to somebody? Parents, the destiny of your children is dependent on how your relationship with God is. Don't come to church and see church as a pray for me. Hello? Don't come to church and see it as like a burden. No. Sundays, Saturday, you should be ready because you know that Tomorrow, we've got to go to church. Am I speaking to somebody? The reason why I'm, I'm using this scripture is because, you see, you might face some dysfunctioning in the family, but the oil that, that fixes things, the oil can't fix that family, can't fix that child, can't fix that girl, can't fix that marriage. Bring them back to the original plan of God. If you are faithful, the challenge for most of you parents is that your faithfulness is not up to the point where God has to step in to fix the family. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Friday, we were praying for our family. I saw only a few of us. But I know about 80% of us here are family. The oil is falling. Say the oil is falling. It can fix my family. It can fix my sons. It can fix my daughters. It can fix any difficulty in my family. Faithfulness there. You have to be faithful. You have to be faithful. You have to be faithful with your walk with God. You have to learn how to be faithful. You have to be faithful, church. You have to be faithful for God to step in. Amen. It is in the world that they say when it's broken, it cannot be mended. But in God, as long as the anointing is still at work, God can fix it. And I see the oil of fixing happening in your family. There's no difficulty. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? The anointing is still at work. And I see God fixing your daughter. God fixing your son. God fixing that marriage. God fixing that brokenness in the name of Jesus. And he will make that family whole. That family will become whole. That family 
will become whole. Tell somebody it can become whole. Get up and let's begin to pray. I don't know what you're believing God for, but lift up your voice. Your family, your family, your family, your family is at stake. Your family, lift up your voice and let's pray. Lift up your voice and let's pray. Your family is at stake. Come on, lift up your voice and let's pray. 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 Lift up your voice. Yes, I want Lord, to hear yes, you pray. Lord. Pray for your own child, yes, your own child. Yes, Lift Lord, up your yes, hand, Lord, voice, yes, and let's pray. Yes, I want to hear you pray. Yes, I want to hear you pray. Yes. Come on, let's pray. Shall Come on, let's pray. pray for the family. Shall we Come on, let's pray. pray. Family? Shall we commit our family? Come on, let's pray. Of the Lord. Come, Come, Come on, let's pray. Come on, let's pray. Come on, let's pray. I can hear only two people. Lift up your voice. Your sons, your daughters, your husband. Come on, let's pray. Come on, let's pray. Our children. Come on, let's pray. Our husbands, you come, come on, let's pray. 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 Come on, let's
become a friend. Every family here, you committed ourselves unto you. Every husband, every husband, every wife here, children in the redemption house. Oh, papa, ya papa, ya papa. have to pray. We committed ourselves unto in you. In the name the... of oh, Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Repeat. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This week. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any weapon. Any weapon. Design. Design. Against, against my family. My family. When I clap my hands. When I clap my by hand. fire. Oh yes, Let Lord. it by when fire. You clap your hand. Come on, let's pray. Clap your hand. Uh, any weapon fashioned against on, our family. Any weapon fashioned against our family. Come on, let's pray. Whatever rip. weapon that has been against us. Uh, Come on, let's pray. Against rip. our children. Against our family. Come on, let's pray. Against our wives. Against our walls, my son. Every weapon, every weapon, every weapon. There is no weapon that can fashion against us. There is no weapon that can fashion against us. There is no weapon that can fashion against us. Any weapon that stand against us. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The family that the Lord has given unto us. No weapon, no weapon. No weapon can stand against us. No weapon can fashion against us. There is no weapon that can fashion against us. Against us, oh, the family Come of the redemption pray. house. No weapon, no weapon, Come no on, weapon, pray. no weapon can stand against us. Come there on, let's pray. No weapon of the devil can stand against Come our on, let's family. Come on, let's pray. There is no weapon can stand for against you, our family. For your family, no weapon, no weapon, for you, no weapon. For your no family, weapon can stand against for you, me. no for weapon your can family. stand against my for you. There is no for weapon can stand against my for you. There is no for weapon can stand against me. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. There is no weapon. There is no weapon. No weapon can fashion against us. There is no weapon that can stand Come against us. Pray. The family of the redemption house. Come there on, let's is pray. no weapon that can stand against Come us. On, let's pray. Any weapon that stand against Come us. On, let's pray. The blood of Jesus will crush it. Ah, yeah, 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 the blood yeah, yeah. of Jesus will crush it. There is no weapon that can stand against you. There is no weapon that can stand against us. As I stand here today, there is no weapon that can stand against Rapa, my family. Yapa, yapa. As I pray today, there is no yapa. weapon that can stand against me. Yes. No weapon, no yes. weapon, no weapon yes. shall prosper. Yes. No weapon yes. shall prosper. Yes. No weapon shall yes. prosper. There is no yes. weapon that can stand against you. There is no weapon Clap that can stand against you. Right. right now, right now, right now. There is no weapon that can stand against your family. In the name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My children, my children will become mighty. Will become mighty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever, wherever doors, doors are closed. Are closed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When I clap my hands, I, clap my I hand. command it open. I command it open for them. Oh yes. Now, now. Door is open. Come on, let's pray. Every door is open. Every door is open. Our children yes. will assail. Every children will assail. Every children will assail. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, the doors are open right now. Yes, right yes, now, yes, right yes. Now. Our children will assert. Yes, they yes, will yes, yes. They will succeed. They will succeed in life. They will yes, succeed yes, in yes, life. yes. Every child in here, every child in the redemption house, uh, they will succeed. They will succeed. They will succeed. They will succeed. Oh, no weapon can come on, let's pray. against their children. Come on, they let's will pray. succeed. They will succeed. Our children will succeed. Yes, 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 yes. Our children will succeed. From today, from today, every door will be open for them. Yeah, pump, pump. Every door yeah, will be open for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every will go with them. They will receive favor from God. They will receive favor from God. Every door favor. will be open. Favor. Every door favor. will be open. Favor. Let the favor, favor. be given unto them. Favor. Give them favor. Yes. Give them favor. favor. Give them favor. Yes. Give them favor. Yes. Let them shine. Yes. Let them shine. Yes. Let them shine. Yes. Let them shine. Let them they shine. are Let them in shine. education, Let them shine. in their job places. Let them shine. Let them shine. Our children, our children, our children. Let them shine. Every child, every child. Come on, friends. Father, let them shine. Let them shine. Let them shine. Let them shine. In every the name of Jesus. Jesus. Daniel chapter 1 verse 9. Mm. He said, now God had brought Daniel into favor mm. and tender love oh, yes. with his supervisors. Thank you, Listen, Jesus. lift up your hands. We are going to pray for our children. Oh yes. That they will find favor. Yes. 
favor and tender love. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever they go, mm. the oil of favor yes. shall follow after them. Yes. God will send people yes. who will do them good. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Every, child Every child of mine, of mine is, finding is finding favor. 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 When I clap my hands, I clap my open hand. doors of favor. Of favor. Come on, pray. Clap our hand and pray. Our Come children on, are receiving favor from God. Uh, every child in the redemption Come on, let's house. Pray. Uh, every child of our house. Let them stand out. Let them stand out. Let them stand out. The favors are coming out to them. The favor of the Lord. Let them stand out. The favor of the Lord. The favor of the Lord is coming onto our children. Our children let are receiving the favor from the Lord. Uh, every child here. Every child here. Every child here is receiving the favor. Oh, yes, Lord. Uh, let let our them stand out. Favor. Let Walk our in favor. favor. Let favor go before them. Uh, let favor go before them. Let favor go before them. Let, let favor go before them. Let favor go before them. Let favor go Let favor go before them. 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 Go before yeah, them. Yeah, 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 I should do a special impartation service for the family. Amen. Please listen. Don't leave any child or husband of yours at home. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't leave any child or husband of yours at home. Mm. At home. Please bring them. And when we come on Sunday, let us sit according to families. Amen. 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 Lift up your hands. Father, we thank you. Amen. Bless you for what has happened today. Yes. And for the word. The order begins with the man. Thank you. Order begins with the man. Thank you, Lord. Reposition everyone here. Yes, Lord. That your families will be impacted. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Any struggle any yes. man has, God bring deliverance to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, every family is yes. favored. Amen. Every family is favored. Amen. Every family is favored. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for answered prayers. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' is name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you. If you came with your tithes and also with your building, I will gladly receive it of you. Tithes.